Hello there, so this is one of those demos I wanted to show off during the next first event that only finished wrapping up very recently, but due to some technical difficulties I was unable to get everything up and running in time to do that. But the demo is still available, those issues are now long gone, so I can finally get in and show you what Metaghost The Breaking Show is all about. You live in St. Ovid. Life stuff. You want stable. You live in Eastwood. Life's not good. You want better. And you live in the Upper West Side. Life's full of pressure. You want ease. I'm Leo Sundman, the mayor of Sopolis. I want to offer you all a chance to make it happen. The Breaking Show, a trending live streamed reality competition. Eight contestants, one goal to climb to the top and claim the big prize. So remember those machines that competed with you, even took your jobs? They're still in your way, but here, you can freely punish them without any cost. Now, with prosthetic enhanced body and customized weapon, for free. Also, don't forget to please the sponsors and followers during the event. They will provide you sponsorships or create obstacles, all depending on your performance. But if you're strong enough, none of this matters. You'll get everything you desire. By completing multiple events, accumulating a maximum prize of 100 million, this money can make your life stable, better, and easy. Don't miss this golden opportunity. Join the breaking shell and change your life. This city needs you. And we're in. Now this right here is Mother. She acts as the guide, as she herself says right there, and helps you with some of the more tutorial style things throughout the game as you're first learning all the mechanics, the system things, combat, stuff like that. But what I'm going to do is skip a lot of those dialogue options and things like teaching me how to play the game, because even though it's my first time getting a proper recording of it, it's not my first time actually playing it. I have a little bit of experience with all these mechanics myself, and it'll be a bit quicker and easier if I just demonstrate them for you as opposed to going through text box of dialogue, because what I want to try and do is two runs in this one video back to back and actually show you what you can do in your initial run as opposed to the upgrade systems that come later because there actually is quite a bit of build variety and diversity that you can get after you get some beginning um, resources and materials. Now, just showing off in the upper left here, this is all part of the tutorial. We have basic movement. It's an isometric style game. We've got a dash. You can see down the bottom in the middle, my, my B dash has two little pip charges. So normally you've got a double dash. The character's um, options are unique though, so just because Taisuke here, our main default ninja dude, has a double dash doesn't mean every other character does. Each character that you can get in the game have very, very, very unique ways that they like to play. And that reason for that is that this is going to be a co-op online style game where you'll each be able to pick a different character, go in and build different teams and have different synergies and kind of, you know, bounce off of each other's flow. There's a character that can heal, there's a character that's more of a melee focused brawler who doesn't have a dodge but more so tanks hits, and then you have Taisuke who is the, you know, most generic run around and dodge and attack kind of guy. He, he fits the bill quite well. His Y is his heavy attack, and as you can see right there, I broke my, my opponent's um, posture, that little yellow meter is like their, their, their guard gauge. While that meter is full, they are immune to staggering, so their attacks will just keep coming through. Most enemies who don't have that, if you hit them, you're going to stagger them and they'll just, you know, get stopped in their tracks. If you press your RB, that's his super cool ultimate skill. Mother is going to tell me, you know, yay, well done on doing what you do. That ultimate ability will recharge through combat, just hitting enemies and continuing to do what you do. Moving over to here, I can get my reward for the room, which are the drivers. So the drivers are what impact your run. It's all of your different, you know, perks, traits, unlockable upgrades, whatever you want to call them. Drivers are those things. And we have two different types from two different institutes. Now, it's kind of like trees. So foundation industry specialize in tech damage and a lot of things like electricity as you can see we've got two of them and they both affect chain lightning and electrocution and then you have the romani biosciences and these affect pretty much anything else you can think of for the most part they're kind of like 
the novelty niche kind of things here and there. A lot of the ones I've seen are kind of specific things in a sense. But what you want to do is, is try and diversify your build a little bit. You can go all in on one color, but you don't want to do that for a reason I'll explain later. So right now we have two options, Chain Lightning or Electric Weapon, because I want to get one of the Foundation Industries ones. So Lucky Hit just basically tells me that there's a 35% chance to inflict electrocuted on attack, dealing damage per second over five seconds, stacking five times. It's a damage over time, I wanna grab this. We move on and we transition into the next room where we now have our map, our grid that shows our run all the way through and we can flick all the way up to see where the boss room's gonna end. Come all the way back down here and we can start choosing, if I actually get back down to the bottom, where we are going to go. So Romani Biosciences, Foundation Industries or a random driver. Let's go random. Why not? Let's do something weird and just go random for the fun of it. Move in. And we have our first normal room. Slay! Now, something I've omitted to mention because I wanted to wait until we got into a real fight is you can see below my life, there are three blue bars that are slowly filling up as I hit. That's my heavy attack. My heavy attack requires these blue bars to be filled out. You can see I do one, two, three, and I spend them all. These dudes die. Room clear, done. So the ultimate needs charging and the heavy needs minor charging. Now, once again, this is his specific way of playing. Other characters have entirely different resources that they use. His are those three bars underneath, the name of which I am, I think they're the Keda, Keda Marks, Kessa Marks, something like that. I'm a little bit bad on the actual 100% name and terminology, but the, the idea is there. You're building up your little bars of blue meter so you can use your heavy. Now, short circuit expansion, when electrocuted reaches maximum stacks, you launch chain lightning at other enemies. That's pretty handy if you're able to build it up high, so that's good for boss fighting. Tech damage is boosted by 20%, lucky hit chance for chain lightning and electrocuted increased by 30%. That's a 30% boost to our chance to already inflict effects, plus 20% more damage. I do like this one. I like the raw numbers, you know, the raw boost. Relics! I bet you can already guess what relics are going to be. You can see one of the other characters right there. I don't know if her name is Jean or Jean. We'll see her as we go. She will show up, do not worry. The game the game kind of features what I, I, I want to say is a loose plot. There is, there is, you know, plot to it, but it's not like, you know, heavy in your face, at least so far. Maybe it gets more as time goes on. But you know, they give, they give reason for everything. Hello, what's in the box? Why, I'm gonna show you what's in the box. What's in the box are relics. And our really cool uh, bird friend on the left here, our Corvus, Corvid, Croas, is our uh, salesman for all of this kind of stuff. So he's going to give us a nice reward that have been harvested, actually, off of previous contestants, I want to say, for the Breaking Show, who have fallen in battle. So he harvests their body, gets all their goodies, and then flogs them off to us. So scanning ship crit rate goes up by 10% crit damage by 20. That's pretty good. My character naturally has more crit than other characters because he's the ninja guy. Tech damage increased by 40% when there are five or more foundation industries drivers. So if we keep going for the blue drivers and get more, we get a 40% tech damage boost. Right, then we have two. And I'm actually glad that it shows you down the bottom. It says number that we have right now is two. Or just take 10% less damage. I would like to get the scanning ship, but I'm a little too tempted to get this and then go after some more blue drivers because that 40% more damage is nice. And after doing that, we get the wrong the wrong room. There he is, Taisuke the Toxin. Ninja Do, that's us. Despite being called Taisuke the Toxin, he doesn't have any natural poison synergy, funny enough. I think that name is due to something else related to his background but may not necessarily be because of his affinity for poisoning his opponents. I could be very wrong though, but we'll see. Where's the next, why are you hiding down here, dude? Little bro just didn't want to compete. Ah, here we go. We have one of the characters who was a representative of the Roma biology department. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to skip a lot of these. It's a lot of character introductions for people who are like important for lore and for the sake of the game if you want to meet these people see what they have to say and learn more about them you are more than welcome to download the demo and go through it yourself but for the sake of trying to get two runs into one video i'm gonna flick through a little bit quicker from the dialogue unless there's something really important that might be better shown than explained but other than that we're gonna skip through now lucky hit attacks have a chance to generate a flywheel huh so just a chance to have flywheels come out it does do tech damage which is good or when injured, my crit damage goes up. Now, injured is a state that you get into when you're below half health. So there are whole builds that you can do 
basically revolving around being almost dead most of the time. In fact, this right here, Clotting Defense, if your life is above 50% when you enter the next level, your life gets reduced to 50%, which, you know, it can make it a little bit easier to gain those effects. I'm going to grab the Flywheel one that has synergy with Tech, though. Timed Challenges, and specifically on the right, I can go and get one of the blue um, upgrades we need. They're both the same thing, so we'll just go over here and do the right side over here first. Time challenges are... This is Break the Targets, I believe, and is the first time we run into the other playable character. One of three, I believe, in the demo. I don't know if there's more than three for the full release of the game intended. I'm sure there will be, but she's the brawler I was mentioning earlier. Yes, she is a child, and yes, she is a brat. She's absolutely insufferable. I don't know if her name is Jean or Jean or whatever. I'm just going to say Jean because I can't tell how French she really is. All I know is, she is insufferable. And the mission, as a way of, you know, introducing you to this concept... I'm gonna fire my ult. I don't, I don't care, lady. All that matters to me is that I break more than you. <laughs> and then she's gonna get mad and have a swing at me. You can see her big, giant tech blade that she has right there. She swings it really slowly. She has a whirlwind attack where she spins and, you know takes out a bunch of guys, but does not have a dodge. From what I recall, she has a pulse energy shield that she can activate to kind of block damage. And now that we've met her in here, she actually gets, click my likes, likes, because this is a live TV show, likes that you receive are your currency. You can see it in the upper right corner, my 740 little thumbs up right there. That's my money that I'm going to need to buy upgrades from the shop whenever we come across it. But now that we've run into the little girl, She's actually going to go back to the lounge lobby area in between, you know, your runs and will be now be a playable character. So we have to meet each character as we go and they will gradually get enlisted onto our team, so to speak, because this is a game show featuring sponsorships and, you know, corporate meddling and interference. Everyone wants, you know, to sponsor the, the new winners to make their business look better. So that's why we're getting things like biochips and tech upgrades and things like that. Now, the game did a job of pointing out this enemy right here has armor on it. You can see his his yellow bar smashed. Time slows down for a little bit. I still move at good speeds, but enemies all in the area get slowed down, and he just gets staggered so I can bully him. This is the owner of the other tech company, the one that we want. I forget, Foundation Industries, right. This is the guy who represents the blue team. We like the blue team because it does electric stuff. I kind of want to get Chain Lightning now, although tech damage is increased based on my battle rating. So similar to like a Devil May Cry kind of thing, the better you do in combat, the higher your rating goes, all the way from, I don't know if D, no, C, it says at the bottom down there, C to triple S. So there are a lot of different drivers and, and options and effects and, and loadout options that you can get that affect your combat depending on how good you're performing. Some give you more money or more likes based on how well you're doing. Others will increase your damage, things like that. So this one's going to increase my damage if I'm doing better. But despite this being a good option and one that I, I kind of feel confident I can keep at least a double S or, or a single S rating, I want to get Chain Lightning because it's just so useful for clearing rooms and it's a Lucky Strike effect. And Lucky Strike isn't bad. Ooh. Oh, this one leads to a blue guaranteed down the end. This one doesn't. Okay, okay, so we've got elite enemies no matter what. Uh, that little... It, I thought it was a trash can at first. This lime green on the left is actually a healing area where you can either recover some life or get 15% max life boost. I thought it was a trash can at first, and I'm like, is this where I get rid of things I don't want? Is this the shop? I don't know what that is. No, 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 no. It's a drink. It's a drink container. It's like a, you know, it's a big gulp. And I'm just an idiot. I just dove out of the way to get away from big funny guy who shoots projectiles and I landed in another enemy's attack because I'm a bit of a dope. Guy's got a gun. Die, 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 die. Rooms initially are pretty small. These are traps. You walk over them, they try and hit you. But you can lead enemies into them, but I don't know if enemies take full damage from traps or not because I've had enemies go over traps and have enemies get hit by other things and they either don't take any damage at all or not much. So maybe the traps are just there to harm us but can't be weaponized against our enemies. I'm not sure. So out of these two, maximum number of flywheels is increased by plus three. At battle start, increase attack speed and regular speed by 30%. Each hit taken will reduce this effect. Resets at the start of battle. So as long as I don't get hit, I just attack faster and move faster. This is good. 
This is really good. I like this. I like this. Elite challenge. Beat the elite dude. Beat the elite. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, that's right. So for the sake of this demonstration, as, as Mother is going to explain, we have to fight an elite and she wants to put the brat that we just enlisted onto our team out here to fight with us in a little 2v2. Well, well 2v1 actually, because this, this guy's going to get messed up. So she's going to tank for us, technically. I'm going to activate my ult. And now we get a little cutscene right here where the brat is going to be a brat. And... Oh, no! <laughs> she just got chainsawed in the stomach. I don't know how you could even remotely rationalize that she is alive and breathing. She is clearly very dead. But we can finish this guy off nice and quickly by abusing our heavy attacks. Um, are you okay? He says, never better. I don't want these. She's being humble, right? She's she's actually just eating crow because she's spent a long time now talking about how we suck and she's awesome. She's ego, you know, typical eight-year-old kid thinking that she's the best. So she's going to give us the rewards because she has to go lay down and rest that backyard incision. Rest it off, so to speak. And we're going to get her rewards because she's not taking anything from us. I am curious to see how the online co-op and the multiplayer is going to work with the game. We have the crit one from earlier. Gain more likes for defeating enemies. That's just more money. That's that's great, actually. The Erector Metal. <laughs> or the Killer Reagent. Deal more damage to enemies with less than 50% life. Um, for every driver effect triggered... Oh, on kill. I don't have any on kill ones. Give me the more money. That's a no-brainer anyway. Just give me, give me the more money. More likes, more likes. Imagine if you could just get that in real life, where it's like, yeah, more people just like you. Oh, okay, cool. I'll take that. Now, battle rating will improve speed and attack speed. There we go. I was talking about the battle rating options. We have one here where the more, the better I do in combat, the more I'm rewarded for it. That's good. I like it. These other ones are okay. I'll take the serotonin activation. I like how it's just called serotonin activation. Activate my serotonin, dude. I want it. I want it. Let me do well. Now, you can break boxes and things in the environments, but I don't know if there's anything that you can get from them. Hang on, I'm going to activate that trap. See, he was on the trap? I just don't know. See, look, watch what... Okay, to be fair, it was hard to tell if he died from the trap or from my electricity that was on him. <laughs> to be fair. Where are you guys? Oh, this thing. If I smash it, it emulates a... a... armor break. So I can kind of pop off and, and slay someone. Look at all this lightning on the screen, man. This is why I like the tech options. The tech options are great. Go blue team. There are other there are other colors. Don't worry, there are other colors out there besides blue and green. We unlock them later though. I believe yellow comes up eventually, but for now, blue is my boy. Now we needed five, I think, in order to activate that 40% bonus that we've tried to pick up before. So this is just obvious. We have to take this one. When electrocuted enemies are slain, they'll explode and do damage. Good. We like that. Now, by now, that option should be available to us. There we go. I was going to say, I need to pull up the actual menu to show you what these all are as you go. So, random rooms. There's You can see all the different colored drivers that you can see right there. There's a whole bunch of them. Time challenges, trading zones for the shop. There's the regen place, random events, relics, rare relics, replace things. Um, challenge sack log, which I've never done before. I don't know if that's even in the demo. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. We'll find out eventually. And we're going to go and get another Foundation Industries driver. And then before this first major boss coming up, I think we get to mess with... Oh, I'm ulting you guys. I think we get to mess with one of the core features before we go in and fight him, which I'm hoping is the case, because I'd like to show you before having to do this fight coming up. Get slain. No, oh, oh, I thought I ran into that bullet for a second there. Die. Die! You can see my little spinning blade around me. There are skill dodges, so if you just move out of the way of attack, that's one thing. But if you actually do your dodge and you time it correctly and you get, like, you know, a perfect dodge, that's how a lot of these special um, driver synergies will activate. So there's the one where I get flywheels that come out when I dodge appropriately. That's why you may not be seeing a lot of them, even though I'm dodging all over the screen. They don't just come out when you dodge normally. They come out when you get like an actual evasive dodge, when you've avoided an actual attack that went through your through your body, but you didn't get hit because you had iframes. Now, fire support. Each time electrocution triggers, there's a chance to launch a laser attack. Okay. Each stack of electrocuted will increase this chance. That's pretty good. 
Each stack of electric cube increases the tech damage taken by the enemy. That's just nice. So that's up to 25%, since I believe it only stacks to five times. And then there's tech damage by 20%, and lucky hit chance for chain lightning and electric cube increases. So my actual chance to apply the effects gets stronger. I might take this one first, and then we'll grab the other ones later if I can find them as we go, because increasing my probability of those effects activating is immediately my main priority. Especially, like, I think Chain Lightning's only at 45%, now it's like 75? Aha! We have an exclamation mark over here, but before I do that, I'm going to talk to the blue vending machine, because I can buy things like Restore Some Life, we're pretty healthy, don't have to worry about that. We have two green options over here, and then we have the Vessel. Get 30 likes when entering the next battle. Do I keep that and just get 30 likes every battle? Or only the next battle, because that's asking me to spend 250 to get 30. It must be every battle. For each flywheel that's owned, increase crit rate and a 10% chance to trigger. Lucky hit. Ugh. Chance to drop crit supply on attack. Picking it up will increase crit rate by 25%. You know what? I've got enough money. I'm going to buy both of these greens. And you know what? I'm going to buy this and we're going to test it and see. Because I don't know if that's, if that's, you know, every time or just one time. Now, the fusion drivers. I'm going to jump through all of this because you only need to know a little bit about this. You can basically fuse all of your drivers together. On the right side of the screen, you can see, there we go, I got out of the menu, all of the different ones that we own so far. So I actually only own four blue, but because we bought two more greens, I'm now up to five greens. So I think four blue was enough, right? No, I need, I need five, don't I? Where's the one that I needed? It was a, no, it was a relic, wasn't it? I think it's a relic, not an actual um, driver. Ignore me. Point is, we can fuse all of our drivers. You need two different colors. You can have between, well, one to two different colors. So if I had six blues, I could just stick all six blues in there. If I had six greens, I could do that. Or pull up the quick navigation and it will give you a list of all the different combinations that you currently have available based on what you already own. So four blues and two greens will unlock attack speed increased by 30% and every 1% bonus attack speed will also increase the tech damage. So the faster we are, the more tech damage we do. That's insane, right? That's absolutely insane. But every 1% bonus attack speed, so not the attack speed we just gained, but bonus attack speed. I believe that's how that's worded, because otherwise that's 60% damage just by getting this. Crazy. Tech damage can also become crits. That's really cool as well. Flywheel tracks enemies and electrocution status effects stuff. Uh, at battle start, you just start doing chain lightning for a while and just a lot, tons of damage and fun stuff. There's so many things you can do. Now, for the sake of this particular run, I feel like doing attack speed, please, because I want to go fast. We press Y, or triangle for me, lock it in, activate it, bam, done. Now, the drivers that you use, you can see down the bottom here, are now consumed, they're used. We still have these effects, they're still active, but we have now made this particular fusion driver. So if we want to make more in the future, we got to get different colors, or at least get more of the green, so I can make the big mono green one. Now you understand fusion. I did it in probably the worst explanation possible. But you get it. This is why during your runs, you might want to get different colors. So, you know, if you want to mo most mostly go like one, like I'm doing a mainly electric focused run, so I want to do blues, but you can also get greens and lots of other things. Perfect dodge, your face. Now, I already know a little bit about fighting this guy, so I'm going to make him look a little bit foolish but we're gonna hit him with as much of this as we can that's a little chain hook that he sends out which in the past had hit me a lot more than I want to admit shatter his defenses get in there uh, uh, uh. now Taisuke is immune while doing his ult so if I can help it I'm going to ult He's going to do three of these. I'm going to ult whenever I'm wanting to avoid, you know, particular nasties. I'll say once again, it's going to be pretty cool to see this all working in multiplayer, you know, and seeing how it all plays out. Ah, Leo Sundman. Hello there, my guy. This is the mayor, isn't it? Now, the mayor is the guy who works for or owns Awaken Energy. Long story short, he's yellow, all right? So we're going to get a heal right there, and you can't really see behind the body, but we've got some 
really good quality relics that we can get. So the trigger chance of lucky hit increases by 40%. So we've got quite a few lucky hit things, some 10%. I think Lightning was originally 45, then got like a 30 boost. This is a 40% boost for all lucky hit effects by the looks of it. Or take 20% more damage but deal 100% more damage. That is really good actually. That's that's very worth it. Normally it's like 100-100, like you take double, do double. 20% more is nothing compared to how good of a trade-off that is. Or I can have my, my lucky chance go off more. Now that will stack electrocution more, which triggers all the different synergy effects. This is just raw, you do more damage. This is more synergy, which I might take the lucky hit foot instead. Trigger the driver effect that is activated at battle start again after every 30 seconds. So yeah, that's actually pretty good too, because we do have ones that specifically want to activate at the start of battle and only last for a little bit. We've got a speed one, don't we? That gives me more movement and attack speed. So we can have those effects continue to activate throughout combat every 30 seconds. Pretty good. And now we have our yellows. Our yellow synergies, our yellow drivers. Thanks to Mr. Leo. Now normal attacks have a chance to trigger Wave Blade. The chance is increased by 1% for every 1% ultimate energy. So that tells me that at 100% ultimate meter, this will just trigger all the time. So this encourages you to not spend your ult straight away. But the other ones, I believe, encourage... Like, like... The yellow energy one is more alt focused around building your ultimates energy and using your ultimates in different ways. The blue one, like I've said before, was was tech and lightning electric damage. And the green one, I'm still having a hard time really pinning. It's like a like a you know, catch all kind of thing. There's a lot of different little like dodge and synergistic effects in there. Now, ring lightning, our heavy attack summons ring lightnings that expand and then do and then retract doing 100% tech damage. That's pretty good for our tech damage side of things, but if we're in the injured state, our ultimate recovers by 20% and ultimate damage is increased by 50%, but I don't really plan to get injured, so we'll take the ring lightning. I don't want to get knocked down to below half life, please. If I can help it. Trading zone, I don't really have enough cash. I could go to the life regen place and get 15% more max life. Relics are pretty good. Random event followed by... Okay, so if I do this, I get... Relic random or random relic. It doesn't matter. Give me give me the relic first. Give me the relics first. And then we'll worry about everything else after that. Spawn in. Spawn in so that you can die. Look at the chance for- Carl, watch out! <laughs> there's, there's just a random hazard coming across the screen to kill these dudes. Dude, my, my lightning is being triggered so much. Wow. Getting all the lucky strike proc activation things is is nuts yeah look at that get run over I, I i like how despite the fact that this is a game show where we're like fighting for money there's just random cars traveling through like did they did they pass off on this are they like yeah send the truck through whatever if they get hit it's part of the game wild crit damage goes up shield effects are increased no longer lose battle rating when hit and each level of battle rating will reduce damage taken there you go no longer lose battle rating when hit that's amazing that's actually top tier, to be fair. Just never lose it. So, Fate Roam. We've got a random chance, so get a random relic. We can spend 100 likes to get a Type 3 relic, and if I had enough, I could spend 800 to get a level 4 relic. Hmm. I'll take that level 3, though. I'll spend the likes. I'll spend the likes. Upon entering the next level, if my life is above 50%, I get 80 likes. Next level, does it just mean the next room or the next like level after the major boss? Because it might mean that, I don't know. I haven't been keeping an eye on my likes going up by 30 each room either to see if it was like a one-time effect or not. Maybe if you guys were keeping an eye on that, but I know I have not been. <laughs> Upon picking up supplies, get two likes. That's okay. You know, I'll go with the good kid protocol because I don't plan to be super weak. We're done, we move on and we can get random driver or obtain a rare relic which will then lead into another relic after that but i don't get to go and get my blue i want to get my blue i need to get my blue because i don't remember if my my relic is currently can i see actually hang on no i want to i want to uh uh i want to try and get that menu open but i don't remember how hold on the joys of of bouncing between lots of new games very quickly is I don't know what I'm I can't I don't know how to get there I don't know how to get there I have to wait maybe it's like on the map menu I can find it 
Because in combat, I'm not I'm not finding it very easily. Hang on. Uh, uh, uh. Get rid of all my enemies first. Is that it? Yay, we're done. And no, she's just bragging about how she's, you know, further ahead than me because I'm slow. She's a brat. Who cares? <laughs> At battle start, immediately gain 50% of my ult meter. Ult damage increased by 50% within 10 seconds. So this is just encouraging you. Get into a fight, blow your ult immediately, which is not even a bad strategy. It's pretty good. When injured, nope. And then that's the light blade one. Nah, give me the battery. This is just insane. So I'm already full on meter. Now, can I, can I? There. Relics. Thank you. Okay. So we have, where is it? There. Okay. So we have, we have four still. I mean, I can see that we have four. I just wanted to see it and pr make sure I still had it and that I wasn't crazy. But we do have it. We need five. I'm at four right now. We, we get this blue one up here and it will activate and we get 40% more tech damage. I'm not insane. I'm at full life. Give me 15% more max life, please. Thank you. And now our next blue. Yes. You can't lie to me and tell me that she's 18. I don't care. Okay, if I activate this within the first 10 seconds, we get our big damage boost. I'm doing more damage by just hitting them normally, man. Oh. <laughs> Yo, that's mean. Oh, I probably could have saved some. I didn't realize that there was going to be another wave. I should have known. Of course there was going to be another wave. Why wouldn't there be another wave? Alright, buddy. Do, do your worst. You do your worst, I'll do my worst. Spoiler, my worst is way more bad than yours. Well. My worst is better. Shut up. Anyway. Ooh. Another lucky hit chance. When chain lightning hits, there's a chance to launch a laser attack. We've seen this one before, but now we have a lot of lucky strike, lucky hit, like, synergy effects that boost that chance. Like, default, we've got the 40% from the Relic, and then I think we had another 30% from a different effect. This could basically be 100%. Yeah, give me that. Give me that. That's that's effectively guaranteed. Random times challenge. Now, time challenges give me money. We get likes for that. That's basically just, you know, going in and breaking those, those cubes again to get more cash. I will get a random... A random driver afterwards, or a random event. Give me the time challenge. I want more money. I want more cash. I know I've got a decent bit of cash right now, but I want more. Ah, yes. I understand. I understand the mission briefing. Alt it! Yeah! I come down here and... Oi! Need to... Slap. Need to get lightning effects on the screen. Must keep... The people happy. Why did my battle rating just drop back down to like nothing? I was an ass. Don't lie to me. Uh. Yo, how much did I get? Seven hundred and two likes. Meaty, my guy. That's a lot of. Okay, I don't need any more cash <laughs> for the rest of for the rest of my life. I won't need any more likes, dude. That's insane. All right. Speaking of likes, how about you guys do your big boy Beals a favor and accept this love? I like you. I'm not going to ask you to do anything. I'm just going to say I like you. And we have the next character that's going to help out. Luckily, she doesn't have, you know, a ton of dialogue for me to have to worry about because she's just going to jump in and fight with us. Show off that big laser that she's got. She's going to join the team. I'm going to hit skip. But she's a lot more, you know, normal and nice. She's, well, she's a hacker by trade, but, you know, she's she's nicer than the brat. And she is the game's resident healer. She's meant to do less damage. She's a little bit more of a glass cannon in that sense because she does have a laser, which tells me that that's going to be really fun to use, but she, she is meant to die a little bit easier. She has less life than everyone else. Electrocuted enemies have their speed reduced. Why, that just sounds amazing. Energy supply has a chance to drop on kill. That's an on kill effect. Okay. I haven't seen many of those. Increase ultimate energy recovery rate based on battle rating. So the better I'm doing, the quicker that builds. That's great. I want that. I wasn't... Wait. No, I've already got my five, right? I didn't... I didn't have to... Wait, how do I... That is active, right? Current status active. Thank you. Thank God. I forgot already that I already went and got my blue. Like, wait, down there I got my... Oh, I just had a heart attack, dude. Trade zone. Yes, please. 
I've got lots of money to spend. Lots of money to spend. Mobility supply. Here's my 10% lucky hit chance, which is going to be increased at least by 40% thanks to our, our relic. Chance to drop acceleration supply on attack. Picking up will increase attack speed. Yes. At battle start, gain a missing life shield. I don't think I have any missing life to really worry about doing that. I'm pretty healthy. Ultimate damage is increased by 20%. I'll take that too. God, it's nice having lots of cash. <laughs> now, I've got my my list on the left over here of potentials that we can do with fusing. We've got, you know, a lot of greens and yellows. Not really any... Well, we've got one blue, but that's apparently not enough. I think I need at least a minimum two by the looks of it in order to do a fusion. At least two of one color. So... Ultimate has a 50% bonus crit rate, which is insane. And each crit that the ultimate does restores more of its own energy. So that just feeds into the repeated ultimate, you know, shenanigans, which is pretty good. Lucky hit, chance to gain super armor and 5% shield. That's pretty good because of our lucky chance booster. That's really nice too. When hit, if you have any flywheels, you can remove a flywheel and reduce damage taken by 20% and gain a shield. Nah, we want damage, right? We want that ultimate booster. I want to ult with the best of them constantly, forever. I'm going to get in here and I'm going to... Uh, should I ult straight away? A relic or... Give me a relic. I've got a lot of drivers already. I, I'm, I'm kind of... I think this is like the last boss of this region coming up. So I don't really need more drivers right now. I'm kind of... I'm kind of there. Yeah, I'm just ult. Get out of the way. Car coming. Oh God, no. That poor doggo. Oh well. You win some, you balk some, and he balked it. He balked it pretty bad. Now. Oh yeah, baby. Car didn't even get a chance to run anyone over. Now my meter is at 60%, so as soon as we get into the next boss fight, it's gonna go right up to 100% so I can ult as soon as the fight starts. Heavy attack damage increase, that's pretty good. Increase the number of drives, relics, and store refreshes by three times, or get 40 likes each time after getting a driver. I'll take that heavy damage boost because I don't need money anymore because we're up to the final boss. You can even see on the left side of the screen there's only two bosses in this region, so let's get in here and use the last of my money and just buy out everything. Dodge grants a 10% max shield that lasts for five seconds. That's fine. Let's take that. Reduce damage taken by 15%. If my life is above 50% upon entering the next area, reduce life to fifth. Actually, I might be able to get another fusion with how many I'm going to get. When hit, there's a 20% chance to recover the amount of damage taken as health and 50% chance to consider this attack as it has triggered precise defense. Cool. Cool. So you can trigger... Because precise defense is the, the name given for, like, dodging at the right time. Um... I see. I'm going to wait for a second and just see, because that's going to... My choice will... Ooh. Ooh, no, I've only got two green, one blue, and one yellow. Aw, oh, man. Nah, based on that, we buy this. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I don't... I'm hoping I'm not going to get hit, but we have it anyway. I mean, I might get hit, but hopefully won't lose a lot of life. All right. It's a gorilla! It's a giant robot gorilla! Mojo changed a lot ever since he, you know, traveled to the future. So, he's gonna do robot thing. Big, big robot with hands thing. He's gonna throw them hands, and we gotta dodge them hands. And, luckily for us, these are in the room. I can shatter them in order to temporarily stun him and start bullying him. I'm gonna break the next one, you can't stop me. There we go. And my ult is now full charged. Pick that up, that's one of my little buffs that spawns by the looks of it. His hand is broken. Oh gods! Sucks to be you, big man. No, I'm not standing there. No, I'm not standing there. I was standing there. <laughs> I got greedy. That's a lot of damage. I'm just going to break this first. And then... Yeah! Get his hands. Can't believe I was standing there. Oh, shit. I was standing there. Come on. Let me break it. Thank you. This is what you call greed. 
This is what you call greed. He's got gun hands. He's got gun hands now. I just want to. I just want to hit you. I just want to. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna break this, and then oh. I'm just gonna break this and then alt. Yeah, I can stand here. You're not hitting me. Oh, missiles. Target locked, he said. Ah. I just want to break it. Thank you. Yes, he is very greedy with what he's doing right now. I've done this fight a couple of times, and to me, that's enough to, you know, just start being really risky, apparently. <laughs> Apparently, I've done this fight just enough to be, you know, overconfident and start putting myself in harm's way. But you know what? I'm still okay with that. I'll do that. Yeah, give me that A rating. No! Oh, you're such a dick monkey. Stop it, bruh. Break this quickly. Break it now. Break it now. Don't let him shoot it. Don't let him shoot the missiles. Kill him. Yay! <laughs> Congratulations! I passed the qualifiers. We did it! We won! It only took us like 11 minutes, which is only good enough for an A rank! My god, how fast have you got to be? My final rating was an S though? That's pretty nice. Now, we have our trophies. Augmentation chips. I'll explain these later. Computing power. I'll explain these later. Lots of universal dollars. Look at that. Hard-earned cash. And yeah, we leave. And we can go back to the lobby where we can now see our new recruits. I'm skipping your dialogue. So this is where you can choose your character that you want to go in with. So for example, Yan, the brat, or Taisuke. Now, spoiler alert, I'm doing Taisuke again because this is just going to be the Taisuke video that I'm not having to explain lots of different, you know, core mechanics by the characters. You get an idea as to how he plays. But what you can do is you can come into the menu and you can see on the left over there, that's where your team is going to fill in. So right now it's showing that we have all these different characters available. We can tab over here and take a look at the brat. And if we want, we can take a look at their moves and we can see demonstrations of what they do. So she, you know, lumbers the weapon around, hits a couple of times, does damage, and she has excitement that she builds. And that's her resource that she needs and spends when doing her bigger, more powerful attacks like her bad whirlwind where she spins around a lot and consumes her excitement levels. She also has the shield that I told you about, where she doesn't have a dodge. She has an impact shield. You can read the particulars about it there if you want. I'm just flicking through and giving you a quick showcase as to all these different characters and how they have different play styles unique to them. Her ult actually is pretty cool looking though. It's this big magnet effect that pulls dudes in and then does a big slam. It's, it's pretty wicked. And then we have the Yan over here, the fictional, you know, because she doesn't exist apparently. So she has her normal attacks, which are all like range. She's the range character, which I've told you already. She's the healer, so it kind of makes sense. So she fires little, you know, attacks from her little floating gizmos. She has the big laser that you saw a little bit of. Now, if this laser is fired at an ally, it's apparently the way that she heals people, but she can also fire it at enemies. So she's not completely, you know, out of options on her own. She does not have a conventional dodge the way that Taisuke does, but she does have boosters which have a three second cooldown, so she can activate them, get a nice boost in one direction and get a little bit of movement speed after that, but she's got to be careful because she doesn't have like a double dodge the way that he does. He's more nimble. And then she has a bombardment array or array bombardment, however you want to say it, which just starts unleashing a bunch of missiles that all go after enemies and do a bunch of damage in a surrounding area. And to be honest, I really like the look of that ult. It looks really nice. And then for Taisuke over here, we've already seen what he can do, but if you want to get more particular about it, all of his stuff is still here. Now, the important thing is that Y that you see up there, triangle for me. Development, where we have... No, nope, go away. <laughs> Sorry, mother, but I'm just going to show rather than, than let you talk for like a minute and show people that these are where all of our, our hard-earned awards for winning that run are going to be spent. So typical talent tree, we have Pacemaker, so we have Revives, it's the very first thing that you get, we have a revive, we can come back with 30% life if we're beaten once. Next up we have Attacks Can Destroy Enemy Projectiles, that's pretty handy. Up here we have Max Life Gets Increased by 20, 
Down here we have we restore five life upon entering a new uh, every new level. I'm hoping that means each room. I haven't really looked. I keep forgetting to look at these effects. I, I hope it's not like a, like the new area. Like you know how we fought the first major boss in that arena, and then we fought the gorilla, and like each of their whole areas is a level. Because five life would be ridiculous, right? Every level has to be each room, right? Like each individual space that you go to have to be. Now. Damage plus 25% upon breaking tenacity. So if we break a dude's super armor meter, we get a damage boost. Up to 50%, which is huge, mind you. Over here, we restore energy upon doing a perfect dodge. Very nice. Down here, we have, you know, typical attack booster. Um, I'm just going to take this so I can move forward and show you the rest. We have speed. We have shield upon entering every level. We have max life boost again. And we have the number of drive relic and store refreshes going up, up to a max of three by the looks of it there. I'm gonna get this because breaking a dude's meter and then doing massive damage just sounds right. I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take the speed upgrade now because I wanna race towards getting store refreshes. That sounds really nice. And then the rest, as you can see, we've got a lot of, you know, out of fives, out of fives and some out of threes. I want to race through and get to the big stuff at the end and then worry about the outer fires later. But if I tab over here... No, stop it. We have weapon customization. This is how you can take your character and give them a little bit more personal flair. Each different one of these is one of his different things he can do. So the Samadari over here, the blade itself, this is his normal attack. And you can see in the upper right over there, it even says the breakdown of his normal attack. This is his heavy attack. This is his dodge. This is his ultimate attack. So if we come in here... Wow, we can see all these different modifiers. Normal attack crit rate goes up 15%. He naturally has 20% crit rate, so that's a 35% baked in crit rate just with his normal attack, just by going into a, a run with him. That's amazing. Normal attack speed by 10%. Enemies hit by a normal attack take 12% more damage for five seconds. What? Now, I think this is the best choice on the tier by far because this is normal attack, normal attack. This is your normal attack just makes them take more damage Seemingly from everything, from your electricity, if you're doing a tech build, from your other driver effects, from your ult, from your heavies, it just makes them take more damage? Take 12% more damage? Unless that specifically means more damage from the normal attack, which is still really good, mind you, it's still fine. But if this means what I think it does, that's a must take. So we have that now, and we could go down and unlock higher tiers. Look at this. All of these are a new effect. Upon landing a crit with a normal attack, you gain a Kassam mark. That's the blue bars that you need to do your heavy. Land a crit with a normal, get free meter to use heavy attacks. All these different effects. I'm not going to read all of them. You can you can pause and go through if you want. Get max cap of extra plus two, so five heavies. That's a lot of heavies, dude. And you can, you can start building yourself more uniquely. For the heavies, you can cast a heavy attack and it increases your normal attack speed for a little bit. Use a heavy attack and crit rate goes up a little bit. That's pretty nice. There's some synergy here and some of the other stuff we saw, right? Or retribution. Now this is insane. Each mark spent increases ultimate damage by 8%, stacking up to five times. So we're definitely taking this. Now, why am I taking retribution, which increases our ultimate damage up to 40%? Well, because I'm going to skip and come down here to where the ultimate section is and show you that while the ultimate is active, heavy attack speed increases. That's fine. Ultimate buff duration increased by two. That's fine, because if you weren't aware, after using the ult, and you can see it on the, on the right over there at the last line of text, at the end of the ultimate, his heavy attack damage is increased by 30% for three seconds. Not something that I was actively trying to take advantage of, but that effect is there and proves that you should be reading through, you know, your character skills as closely as possible to understand what, what's going on. But the real reason we're doing this is for returning a wave. After we use our ultimate, our heavy attacks will refund a Kessa mark. What do you need to use heavy? A Kessa mark. So heavies become effectively free after you use your ultimate for, well, three seconds, I think, because that's how long the buff lasts. So we get three seconds of free 30% bonus damage dealing heavies after we do our ultimate. Pretty ridiculous. Over here, we have just enough left because we've got 10 by beating our first run. We've got, look at that, just enough to get at least one of all these upgrades. So we can get game one sprint and reduce the invincibility duration of sprint by 50%. So we're less invincible, but we get one more dodge. I'd rather not worry about that. 
After we do it, we get a 30% movement speed for two seconds. That's pretty good. Or God speed. After sprint, my normal attack speed increases. Damage. Damage. Yes. Yes, please. Damage. Now that we have all of these different things, I'm going to go in and do another challenge run with all of these different effects on to see what the difference is between having bonuses unlocked and not having bonuses unlocked. Now, I could move on and do the preliminaries, but that's a whole new area. And for the sake of comparison, we want to come back into the first area and redo it again so that you can see the difference. And we're off. Run up and grab my first driver for free. Ooh, at the battle... St at start, immediately get our ultimate energy. Ooh. Ooh, you did have to give me a good one right at the beginning, didn't you? Ooh. Thank you so much. Now, I don't know what I'm doing for this build. I, I did a lot of electricity last time. I want to kind of mix it up and do something else. So maybe I'll focus a little bit more on the yellow side and get a lot more yellows and greens and do that. So let's go and get this yellow from, for now. And I'll do like a yellow green kind of hodgepodge thing. Last time I had a little bit more blue. I want to I want to schmix it up a little bit. Alt. Now, there's no reason not to fire this. Now, look at... Uh, uh, uh. There was no enemies alive in my area to really show you the the freeness of my heavy attack. Unfortunately. But we will get a lot more enemies as we move forward. Next. Battle start. Gain that shield. Increase ultimate energy recovery rate based on my battle rating. Yes, please. Yes, please. You're going to see a common theme here. I'm just going to take, like, the biggest, like pushes the more snowball effects so I can get more damage. There's a lot of good defensive options out there. But why would I do that when I could just go all in on my dummy thick damage? Nice blocking, my guy. My ulti is now charged, but I don't really want to waste it on small fry like this. You know? I'm going to waste it on small dudes like this. Heavy attack damage goes up by 20%, which is really good based on our build. Ultimate damage increased by 20% and ultimate energy recovery by 10%. Give me the ultimate. Give me the ultimate. I should have taken the heavy attack one, maybe, but... I just don't care. Give me a rare relic. Give me a rare relic. I should have maybe taken the random, the, the room for money, but... I just don't care. Okay, first 10 seconds we do more alt damage. First 30? 10 seconds. First 10 seconds, our ult does more damage. We just need to use it, dude. And now for the rest of the room... We bully dudes. Got to 31%, so as soon as the next room starts, I'll go to 81%, and we can just start looping this. We have the reagent that we saw before, or expired stitch sugar. When entering the next level, if the remaining... If the health is below 50, it'll be restored to 50% of the maximum value. That's pretty nice, so always at least at half. Everlasting Salt Lick. Each time we enter the next stage. Yeah, give me that. Because now I can see if my max life is going up by, you know, each room or not. So I'm at 300 default. Do I go up 2%? Like, another 6 life? I do! So, each level, it does mean rooms. Good! Confirmation. I've, I've really been very slack at figuring that out, haven't I? Slay. Damn, they did not last. They did not last. Hmm. Healing supplies have a 25% chance to drop on kill. Yeah, why not? Why not? I need greens anyway. I need greens for my fusion effects. So I got to start getting some greens and yellows. And then we start fusing them all together. I like how it does 666 damage to the box. That's cute. Die. Die. The dude's down here. Oh, there's you down here. Hang on, there's one of these. I can break that. There we go. No. 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 Oh, healing supply is dropping already. I can see them. How handy. Relic. Shut up. He's all he's complaining because I'm alive and he can't rob me of my stuff and flog it off to the next dude. Max life increased by 10%. Crit rate and crit damage. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's all about, baby. That's what it's all about. Random events or times challenge for money. I need money. Before I get to a shop, I need a little bit of money so I can buy stuff, because I could buy two drivers. Like, if I do well enough in here, I'll make enough money so I can actually afford two drivers, which would be really, really good to get. Hop it at the start. 
free heavies for a few seconds. There we go. I really should be building that up to 100 before I do that. But whatever. Building my meat up to like maximum amounts of um, heavy before I start spamming, but I don't really mind. Oh, I'm not going to get as much this time. These things are tougher this time. First run was pity, wasn't it? Do it! No! <laughs> I got a second ult. How much did I get? 356? That's fine. Actually, no, it's not. I need more likes. I need more likes. I need more... Like me! I need more likes. Click that damn like. Boss room. Well, you know, elite room. So I want to bully... Yo, don't do that. I want to bully these little dudes in the room for a bit of Mia, if you don't mind. There we go. Alright, pop it. Free heavies, go. Free heavies, go. Look at all the heavies. More heavies, more heavies, more heavies, more heavies. More heavies. I want to get that, that next heavy leveled up. Yeah, come over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. More heavy, more heavy, more heavy. Oh, free ult. Do it. Just do it. He's dead. <laughs> it's fun doing that, dude. This ult is building so quickly. Mmm, less damage taken. Instantly receive 888 likes. I said I wanted more likes, dude. Thank you. Lucky hit chance, drop acceleration supply, crit supply, injured. Yeah, give me the crit supply. It's green. I don't care. It's green. Drivers. 15% max life versus more drivers. I'll take the drivers, please. Then we have the new fodder. Want to build that heavy meter a little bit. Bam, bam. No. Yep, yep, yep. More enemies now. That's for sure. No. Don't have chain lightnings to, to do all the crowd control for me. What we do have is Burst. So this is more of a boss slaying build, I want to say, than anything. But I do have my ult that I can pop now. And then fire off free heavies for a bit. There we go. Die. There we go. Mmm, no. I mean, I'll take it anyway. Like, it only works if I'm in injured state, but I mean... 50% more ult damage while I'm injured and, and faster regen is still good, dude. It's, it's still good. Relics. Give me my relics, damn it. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna break this. Hang on. I'm just gonna wait for him to get in. There we go. Hang on. Ult. Damn. <laughs> damn. That was a lot, dude. Are you summoning in more dudes? You're annoying. There, die. God. Pain in the ass. Stop talking to me. Normal attack speed increases and normal attack damage is increased. That's pretty good. Crit damage. Movement speed. Oh, fine. I'll take the normal damage. 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 Let me slay. And now we have our funny, funny boss guy. But first, oh, I don't have enough to do any fusing. I need one more. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I just need one more green or or yellow. So, oh, we have to take this. Fine. Take it. Tech damage is increased based on battle rating. I'm not really wanting to do any tech damage stuff. I might just not buy that. Player's crit damage is increased by 50% when there are five or more Romani Bioscience Drivers. That's my green, so... Is green based on crit synergy? I never really thought about that. Maybe it is. I'm not really thinking about that. It's, it's, it's kind of all over the place for me, though, but, you know, I'll take more crit damage. Just need to get two more greens? I'll do that. Right, now we have enough to actually build something, but I can only build one, and that's the 3-3. Three, three. What's the 3-3 three, three do? When hit, if you have flywheel, remove a flywheel and reduce damage taken by 20%. I don't think I have any flywheel stuff, do I? Hang on, let me... Can I Can I move over? No. I want to... No. I don't want to do that. I don't want to... 
I want to do that. Hang on. I have no flywheel stuff. I'm not going to do it because I have no flywheel. I want to wait until I can get more. My options will open up tremendously just by getting one more yellow or one more green. So I can do 4-2 instead of 3-3. Three, three. Hello, big man. Now, first 10 seconds. No, I messed up. I chained me. I messed up so badly. It's okay. It happened once. But it will not happen again. Alright, do, do, do a move, do a move. There we go. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. Alright, he's gone into like phase two. That's all the chains. Kinda missed him with some of it because he moved away, but doesn't matter. The main point is the heavy spam. Come grab this. Grab that. You like doing this a lot, don't you, buddy? Don't you, buddy? Hit him with it. Look at the damage! Wow. My ult is hitting pretty damn hard, dude. Get my life back. Grab one of these. That's that lucky effect trigger. When you use your ultimate and hit an enemy, your ultimate damage will permanently increase. By 10%. Going up more. Okay, so just the more we use our ult, the stronger the ult actually gets. That's great. Dodge also increases attack speed. Battle rating will improve my speed and attack speed. Battle rating. It's that serotonin again. I know I'm taking similar ones, but they're just, they're good, dude. They're good. All right, done. Now I want to get yellow. I'm avoiding blue as much as I can because I'm not really worrying about tech. Yeah, I'm down to half-life. It really did set me back at, at 50% when we came in. I had to lead them into the car. <laughs> get juggled by a car, idiot. Imagine getting juggled by a car. Wouldn't be me, dude. It will never be me. You will never see me hit by this car. Stay in the road. Damn it, he... I was... Oh. Note to self, don't loiter and wait for them to get hit by a car. Just... just. I am the car. Pop it. We have to keep hitting dudes with our ult. So that... it gets stronger. Cheeky little... Not having the chain lightning to stagger enemies for me is changing this, man. It's changing this. My burst damage is great, though. Uh, you know, given that I'm coming in with low life each time, I'll take the one that gives me a shield when my life gets lower. I have my Dark Priest robe effect again. You thought you got me to 30% life? Psych, I'm actually at 60%. Hello? Hello, big man. Oh my god. I'm the one who bullies the bully. Damn. Remember, I get a damage boost every time I... Again? <laughs> Dude. I really am bullying the bully. Threshold for injured increases by 15%. So I become injured technically at 65%. So my ult will get stronger. Wait, my ult will always be active at that point. Isn't it always active now because I'm always at half? But then again, if I pick up any healing during a fight, I ruin it. Heavy attack damage increases by 20%. Actually... My heavies are where all the damage is coming from. Give me the heavy attack damage booster. That's that's too that's too thick to avoid, dude. When injured crit damage increases. Ooh. I might always be injured though. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, let me try that, dude. Let me try. Yeah, I wanna try that. I need more green anyway. I don't think I've got my green 
I needed five green to get that crit 50% boost, didn't I? Perish. No. Ah, you see how it says dodge above my, my character whenever I dodge at the right time? It's pretty generous, but still. Dude, getting juggled? Die. Yeah, see, I just picked up some healing, so I don't think I'm at my threshold just yet. Technically anymore, because I'm getting a healing during the fight. I don't want to get hit on purpose. Damn, there's a lot of healing. Dude, that chance for healing to come out is huge. I got shot. Pop it. Die. I am blown away by how many heals are popping, dude. There's there's so many heals on the ground. That that effect is amazing. When hit, there's a 30% chance to recover life. Yeah, okay, fine. Fine, I'll take the revenge. Think I won't. Random event. I haven't done enough random events. I should do a random event. Alright, so. Gifts are fine, but testing is out of the question. Get 300 likes. Gain 1,200 likes and receive the stream jammer. What the hell does that mean? Lose 4% of current likes upon entering the next stage. Oh my god. Oh, so I get a lot of money now, but I don't keep... That's fine. I'm heading to the shop anyway. <laughs> I'm going to the shop anyway. I'm going to blow it all, dude. Can't stop me. I'm going to blow it all. Let it ride. Mobility supply. Chance to drop acceleration supply packs. Thank you. Upon triggering dodge, generate flywheels. Thank you. Speed boost. Thank you. I, I would buy the heal, but I know it's not going to matter because I'm going to get dropped out of Half-Life when I'm moving to the next area anyway. It doesn't matter. Now, I finally have options. Ultimate has 50% bonus crit rate, and each ultimate restores my meter. We had this one last time. I, I still think this is a really good choice. Because our build is kind of relying on ults. Unless we get a heavy attack one, it's ult and heavy attack all the way. Crit rate increased by 30%. When crit rate exceeds 100%, every 1% over will increase crit damage. You know, all green is pretty cool. So it is very crit related, okay. All green and one yellow. When shielded, you gain crit rate and every 1% life shield will also increase crit damage. Pretty good. That's... We've seen that one already. It's okay. And then there's the Guardian Flywheel. I'm still thinking we take Vulnerability Insight for that extra ultimate. And then our ultimate restores meter faster. And we just spam ults like crazy. Do that. And now how many have I got? I've got... Isn't that enough to get the mono green? Yeah! Yeah! Boost my crit rate! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> do it! So how do I see? My crit rate is now 60%. Which is pretty damn nice. Pretty damn nice. Considering I haven't gotten many actual crit boosts in my build so far so but wait i can do this because when i enter the next area my life gets set to 50 percent, right or is it only if it's above Ooh, wait but where's that no it was a driver effect wasn't it which driver was it if hp is above ooh, only if it's above ooh. Ooh, do I really want to tell? Uh, yes. <laughs> because I've got a heal right here. I'm using my big brain. <laughs> so I just got a lot of likes. Basically for free. Basically for free. Now I can buy more stuff. When hit, gain a shield equal to half the damage taken. Thank you. Then we have energy supply has a 30% chance to drop on kill. Picking up will get 10% ultimate energy. Thank you. When shopping with likes, you can refresh your options once for free. Don't care. Don't need it. Don't care. Don't need it, dude. I'm sliding. And I've only got my two little yellows over here. So we're not going to get enough drivers to do one more fusion. But I can come and get this last green, I guess. It can't stop me. Ooh. Train tracks? 
I know what train tracks implies. You can't. He was behind me the whole time. Okay, that guy is spinning. He's spinning to hold him. Oh, that laser persists. That's why. I've never seen these enemies. These guys are different. Okay, your attack? Wildly annoying. Thank you. Thank you, train. My god. Poor people inside that train just got a taste of the... of the Omni-Man special right there. Suffer! Free heavies, free heavies, free heavies, free heavies, free heavies. Free heavies on Tuesdays, free heavies. I love this free heavies nonsense. My ult is back? Do it again. Free heavies again. How did my ult come back so fast? Because my crit rate. I get it. I get it, lady. Heavy attack augmentation. Increase attack and attack speed by 20% for 3 seconds. Ooh, I like it. Battle start, though. Increase attack and attack speed. Hmm. Leap flow is pretty good. Give me short-term overload, though, because it's I, I, that's going to be active all the time for me. All the time. I know the other one's, like, technically better, but... I don't care, dude. I don't care. Give me stuff. Focused guidance for each flywheel owned. My crit rate goes up. Flywheel size and... <laughs> Ultimate damage! Sick! So I got to five, didn't I? Damn, I'm one short again? Man! I gotta get in there and get more drivers! I like the little camera that follows me around. It is the big green gorilla. Ook ook, a big green gorilla. You suck! Oh shit, I, I almost auto-attacked into the range of that, of that. No, that's not good. Alright, ult is ready. I just need a really good excuse to use it. Which is going to be this thing. Oh, 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 give me that buff. Right. Ult him! That's a lot of damage, dude! Free heavies, free heavies, free heavies, free heavies. Get hit. No, don't. Now we just bully him until we get to- Oh my god! Alt again! I missed most of it! Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I tried to get out of the way, he hit me! You big green- I tried so hard, dude. I was baited. What the shit?! Don't be a dick! Free heavies, free heavies, free heavies, free heavies for all. He is dying faster. I'm just also still running into the same problem where I'm being very greedy. I'm just going to wait until he's like... There we go. No! The worst case scenario did happen. I bugged him out. Alright, I'm immune. While doing this, I'm just gonna do this and then heavy, 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 heavy. No! Oh, must run! Must flee! Missiles everywhere, dude! Calm down! Okay, wait, I've got my ult. I'm gonna stun him one more time. Ult him and then he will die. Nah! I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. Oh, I'm gonna wait again. Forget about it, dude. I don't need missiles on the screen while I'm doing this. Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. Ult him. Look at his health bar disappear. Woo! <laughs> I think that might have been slower than the first run, actually. Maybe tech damage is just really OP. Was that faster or slower? It was slower by like a minute. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna blame it on my poor luck. I just didn't get lucky. I just didn't get very lucky. That's all. That's all, dude. Forget about it. But now, no, stop it. But now, if I want to, I could come in here and there's a lot more things I can get now, like shop refreshes. I could get some of the shield upon entering a new area. I can get that 25 max 
life boost. I could just get some of this, some of this, you know, just start kind of going nuts with it. I should be getting a speed boost if I want to go faster, to be honest. But now, if I want, I could come into here. I only have four. You get a lot more for the first time you beat an area, and a lot less for every time you do it afterwards, by the looks of it. So, I don't have enough to unlock, but once I build up enough, I could start getting these purple upgrades instead. And start, you know, adjusting my build, because right now, my build relies very heavily on spamming my ultimate and then spamming my heavies after I can do it. So I want to focus on what color? Yellow, because yellow affects ultimates the most. I might change into purples and then all of a sudden I want to take blues or I want to take more greens for the crit synergy, especially on, on Taisuke. He's a very crit centric character. In fact, if I'm smart, which I'm not normally, I should. There we go. I can even show you his stats. So he, his starting health is thus. His attack, his his crit rate, you can see, is 20%. If I come down to the little brat, she has 10% starting crit rate, but more health. And then the healer girl has, well, the least amount of health. That's why she's kind of, you know, the sit-back ranged type of character. And there you go, guys. Meta Ghost The Breaking Show. The demo should still be available for you to check out now if you want to go and give it a whirl for yourself. There are at least two different levels for you to explore, as well as other characters many different upgrades. It's a pretty chunky little demo right here. There's a lot to see and a lot to explore, especially if you're looking at picking it up, maybe with some friends in the future to do some of that online co-op when available. Mm. But with all of that said and done, I've got to get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little early sneak peek, and I will see you all again next time. Have a good one.